Good morning. I really should say good afternoon. I think this is now the definitely the latest I have mobilized myself. It's about 1 p.m. Um, I haven't done anything yet today, but that's okay. I've had a really packed three weeks. Today is my last day in Barcelona, my last day in Europe. Tomorrow morning I go and travel back to the U.S. And I'm happy and sad. I'm sad, obviously, to go back to real life and definitely sad to leave here and um, leave all these experiences, but I'm also definitely very happy to um, be back home and to see all the people. I think if I had um, people here, friends here, there's no chance I'd ever want to leave. But um, as I'm reflecting about things, I do want to say, because I keep thinking I want to tell you guys this, People probably want to know if I miss anything about the U.S. or if there's anything um, that I'm definitely going to miss here. Number one thing I miss about the United States is free water. I have to pay for water every single time I go to a restaurant and I drink a lot of water usually. And I know I'm probably dried up like a freaking raisin right now because I haven't been drinking enough here. Um, it's just kind of a pain. But yeah, the water, there's tap water, but... If you go to a restaurant, you're paying like two euro for a teeny, teeny, tiny little bottle of water. Um, it's definitely miss that. And then also miss the fact that there's not a lot of smoking anymore in the U.S. And like right now, just breathing around, I can kind of smell cigarettes. It's kind of nasty. Um, so that's something I will not miss about here. But... I think one of the biggest things I'm going to miss about Europe is I realized that there's really not any bugs. Like, these doors in this room I'm staying in have been open since I arrived. And I kind of shut them a little bit just because of the smoke um, at night because I realized I was breathing it in and, like, it was irritating my throat. But there's no bugs flying in anywhere. So everybody just has doors and windows open at all times. In France, there's a lot of flies, but here there's, there's nothing. Um, I saw an ant on the floor. That's pretty amazing. So, uh, I'm not going to be looking forward to going back to the south where it's like mosquito land and you cannot walk outside without getting bitten about 600 times. So anyway, I'm going to go outside. I saw a crep place yesterday, um, on this little block that's right here. So I think I'm going to go and get a crep or something. I have absolutely no plan for today. I don't know where I want to go or what I want to do. I think I'm just going to start walking and let the world lead me in some direction. So, happy Monday. Y'all, I almost forgot the keys. Well, yeah, also definitely going to miss how skatable it is here. It's, it's just so fun to skate. I am not skating today. Got the shoes on. Uh, my legs are really tired and like I said, I've been dealing with this ankle bone issue and it feels a little bit sore. So I'm just trying not to push it. So I think I'm just going to spend the day walking around. Closed. Okay, so that plan didn't work. On to whatever pops up next. The best part about being an adult is you can eat some lunch for breakfast at 1.30 and then follow it up with a Nutella crepe and ice cream right after. And this is some of the best vanilla ice cream I've ever tasted in my life, holy crap. Google said to just go straight and straight ahead. It stares as far as you can see. If nothing else, stairs feels a little easier than just hills in a way. I was sort of kicking myself for not wanting to skate here, but sorry, this is unskatable. I'm glad I'm on feet.
I am at the top, I think, of Park Guel. And over there, somewhere in here, you can get focus. There we go. I'm staying somewhere over here. Right in here is where the Olympic Stadium is. The very first day I went to the top of that mountain. There's my giant finger. That mountain at the very first day. And the sea is there. That kind of funny shaped building. Wink. The W. And then the track, the skating track is all to the left of that somewhere in this area. This park is really too cool. The big problem with it is that there's too many options of where to go. There's a bridge here, I think. There's a set of stairs that goes up to who knows where. There's some stairs here to, that go under a cool bridge. Like, I don't know where I want to go. I think I'm going to go up these stairs because I think these will be harder to find again. Somebody earlier asked me, they said, where's the main entrance? I said, I don't know. She's like, how come nobody knows? It's like, this place is too big and cavernous and cool. And the views are amazing. Oh, and there's paths. <sighs> what do I do? I want to see it all. I need to split my body into like eight people so I can see all the things and decide. So I'm walking away from the park back towards the train station. It was very, very cool and I'm glad I came. I was there for about two hours and I'm just tired, y'all. I think finally three weeks is starting to catch up with me and I'm just sleepy. So I am planning to head back to the um, Airbnb where I'm staying and maybe if I take a quick nap or something, I might go out to the beach and walk around on the beach um, sometime this evening. But just sleepy, sleepy day. We have pigeons and parrots. Pigeons and parrots. Pigeons and parrots. I think it flew right in front of my face. I was about to say, you just have to hope they don't shat on your head. Hello. It is 8.15 p.m. I got back here around 
5.30 and took a nap because I was super tired and have been sitting in bed just watching YouTube videos. I have no energy. I'm super tired. I was really kind of thinking as I was seeing 7 o'clock roll around, I said I kind of would like to go for just one more quick skate to the beach and have some dinner and then call that a day. Um, but I'm really kind of running out of time to do that. Uh, and kind of don't want to push the ankle, but mostly running out of time. I have to pack all of this stuff up <laughs> and uh, hopefully get this video up for today and then realize I need to be in a taxi at 5.30 a.m. So all of a sudden it's hard on the last day because you just end up running out of time to do all the things you're going to do. I'm bummed to be leaving and I'm kind of bummed that I honestly I feel like I wasted the day even though I know I didn't. Um, it's funny talking to my Airbnb host he said you've done so much and I'm like I feel like I did nothing. Um, but it's true, I've done a lot, and I've done a lot for three weeks, and at least I got out to the park that was really cool. Um, but I'm just, I'm zapped, man. Um, so anyway, I'm going to venture downstairs and go to a street and try to find some food. Um, and try not to be kicking myself too hard for not getting back on my skates uh, one more time. But I've done so much skating this week, there's nothing to be kicking myself for. This is just me. <laughs> just the way I am. So, anyway, let's go get some food so I can get all this stuff done and get to bed. I came back to the Metropolitan Cafe because I was kind of craving like a hamburger or something. I didn't order just a straight burger, I ordered something a little bit more interesting than that. I really do kind of wish I was. I had mobilized myself earlier and had skated out to the beach because I think that's where I really want to be. But, you know, sometimes you don't do it all and that's okay. So, just going to enjoy my last dinner here. I think I'm just mostly sad about leaving and having to go, go back to real life, but that's okay. So, I didn't exactly know what I ordered. I just kind of picked something after staring at the menu for a good, you know, eight minutes. And look what just arrived. Oh. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Good choice, Hannah. This is for sure as fantastic as it looks. Well, that was good. I spent some time looking up my options for getting to the airport. I checked the taxis and it says it's going to cost 45 euro, which is a lot. And so I looked up the transportation on the airport bus and it doesn't look too complicated. And now I kind of know how all of that works. So I think I'm just gonna take the train and the bus and not deal with having to call a cab and pay 45 euro. It's gonna take me, I think 40 minutes instead of 20 minutes and I'm gonna have to walk a little bit. But it will save me almost 40 euro, so that will be good. Um, worst comes to worst in the morning, I am too tired and I just call a taxi company or I hail one on the street. I'll figure it out. But it is now time to go back and pack up all of my stuff and just get ready to leave. I'm going to have to walk out the door about 5 a.m which is gonna be shocking to my system in the morning, but um, I don't wanna walk this way at like the cafe area. Yeah, this is the end of the, of the trip. This is day 23, I think. Yeah, this is day 23, so a really long time gone and traveling, and it's been amazing. Definitely has been moments of being a little um, being a little just down or low energy just from being by myself. I'm very, very extroverted, so I require a lot of friend time. <laughs> um, but it's, it's been amazing and I cannot thank the people who brought me here enough. And I'm so looking forward to the next trip 
in just a couple of weeks actually to Denmark to escape camp. So travels are not over, um, but reintegrating to real life is going to be really hard. So I think this might be signing off from Barcelona.